Well, again, I've been dealing with a client and uh, with patina of a bronze of the uh, Cowboy Serenade. And uh, I'm finally getting to work here, but it's taken a lot of my time. So I'm not, I'm, I'm dealing with very little time right now to work on this clay. I got down here to start working and all of a sudden all, you know, questions about the patina and uh, the finish and all that stuff started popping up and I had to uh, deal with that right away because the foundry is getting ready to pick up the bronzes from the patina person so they can ship them out. And we don't want to ship it out if it's not, client's not happy. So I'm going to do what I can and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm gonna check his nose length. Now, the photograph I've got back here is the scale. And, uh, it's a scale that I'm sculpting at, and uh, so I just want to make sure everything is uh, kosher, so to speak. All right, now. Now, according to the picture, it looks like He's got a little bit of fur that comes up to the, no the mouth. Right there, a little fatty area. And uh, I've got to make that mouth the same on both sides. Okay, I'm going to try to do the uh, back of his mouth. Yeah, patinas on a bronze are very personal. And uh, not everybody likes the same kind of coloring on a bronze. But I also draw the line at what I think makes a, a bronze look ridiculous. But uh, the coloring that he wanted doesn't. And uh, I just want to make him happy. And... Uh, so, it takes time to work things out to where the client is happy with the uh, finished bronze. Because he's got to live with it. All right. I sent pictures of the patinaed bronze to him yesterday, but the patina hadn't been completely finished. He, uh, what they do is they patina the bronze with uh, acids and chemicals, <clears throat> and then uh, they apply wax to it. And when they apply the wax, it changes the color quite a bit. Uh, if it was light colored, it get, darkens it and quite a bit. And so that was a problem. I sent him a picture of it before it was actually uh, waxed and uh, he wasn't quite happy with it, but I just saw pictures of it after the wax was applied and it looks dynamite. So just wanted to make sure he gets that before he makes any final decision. All right, I'm sorry. It's just one of those things you have to do when you're an artist. Uh, you have to go back and forth with the, the finish on a bronze. And it's something you, any of you who are thinking of going into the business of selling artwork, uh, a bronze, 
uh, you're going to have to deal with stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to... Concentrate on this now. Okay, what I did on the other side, I've got to do on this side. And, uh... Make sure the back of the mouth is the same distance from the front of the nose on the other side, too. That's pretty close. I'm going to hit it just a little bit further back. There we go. One of the characteristics of a uh, dingo is their big ears. All the better to hear you with, my dear. 
<laughs> when, they're, when they're little pups, their uh, ears tend to be floppy. At least that's what I've seen. I'm going to double check to see how this is looking with the figure. And, uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to have to, uh, call it quits for today. And, uh, I'll have to come back tomorrow and see what we can accomplish. Um, I got to work on the uh, legs down here and the belly of the the puppy, and uh, I think I'm gonna have to fill out the back end a little bit more. Uh, he's a little too straight back, according to the pictures I've got. Yeah, he's way too. Straight back, so I'm gonna have to work on that. All right, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.